Lesson 8.2a, Drawing Three Sides. The textbook lesson requires the use of geometry software to draw a triangle with the given sides of two units, three units, and four units. Well, I don't have geometry software on here, so we can make our own sides from paper, straws, or sticks to physically make a triangle. So I have three magnet sticks. This one's two units long, this one's three units long, and this one's four units long. They're actually inches. We're going to let segment AB, that's how it's written, AB with a line over it, is a line segment AB. It will be our base for the triangle. And we can put it right here. We can make CD one of the sides, and we can make EF one of the sides, and we can put them together in a way so that we can form a triangle. We can move this one down like this, move this one in, and we've made a triangle. We can even turn this and make the four unit length one the base. We can still make a triangle. We could even turn it again and make CD the base. We've made a triangle with these three segments of two units, three units, and four units. So here's a quick review. A triangle is a three-sided polygon. A polygon is a closed plane figure formed by three or more line segments that intersect at their endpoints. So intersect means they share a point. And endpoints are points at the end of a line segment or ray. We can try to make triangles with different lengths using eight units as the base. So this is eight inches long, and this is two inches, three inches, four inches, five inches, six inches, seven inches. So what would happen if we had one side of two inches and the third side of three inches? They can't meet no matter how low I put them, they are not going to meet, so we're not going to have a closed figure. So 2, 3, and 8 will not work to make a triangle. That's if we have an 8-inch base. Now, what if we try 3 and 4? So let's try 3 and 4. We'll put 4 here. Let's put it really low to try to close it. And we'll put 3 here. Let's line this up. No matter how low I put it, it's not going to meet to make a triangle. So what if we try 4 and 5? Oh, well, look at that. That's working, isn't it? We can make a triangle with 4, 5, and 8. Can we use 6? Let's move the 5 out. If we move this up, look, we can make one with 4, 6, and 8. And we could probably even do it with 5, 6, and 8. You notice it didn't work for these short ones. That makes a triangle. And we could probably even do it with the 7. We could do 5, 7, 8. You can make your own by cutting straws or using construction paper and measuring them so you know their lengths. If you use construction paper, you can even write the length on them. So we were able to make a triangle with the 5, the 7, and the 8. We could put the 5 away, try the 6. We'd have to move this one up a little more. And look at that, the 6 fits there. We use 6, 7, 8. That made a triangle. A certain relationship must exist among the lengths of the three segments in order for them to make a triangle. To form a triangle. So what is that certain relationship? Well, the sum of any two side lengths must be greater than the third side length to form a triangle. If we have 2, 3, 4, we would get the sum of 2 of the lengths, 2 plus 3, and that is greater than 4. 5 is greater than 4, that's true. And if we used 2 and 4, well that's 6, that is greater than 3. That's true. And if we did 3 and 4 and got the sum, that would be a 7. That's greater than 2. That's true. 
All three of these must be true. All three of these must be true. The different ways we rearrange these and get different sums, they each must be true. We need three true statements. This is actually the triangle inequality theorem that we're going to learn about in high school geometry. You can call it triangle inequality. If we had sides of three units, four units, and nine units, would we be able to form a triangle? Well, let's add them up and see. We'd have three plus four. Well, that's seven. No, this is false. It's not greater than nine. Three plus nine is 12. That's greater than four. And four plus nine is 13. That's greater than three. That's true. So no, we wouldn't be able to form a triangle because all three must be true, not just two of them. We have a false one here. So no, all three must be true. We would not be able to form a triangle. Given three side lengths, A, B, and C, they will form a triangle if A plus B is greater than C, and A plus C is greater than B, and B plus C is greater than A. All the combinations that it would be greater than that third one, they will not form a triangle if the sums are less than or equal to the other side, the third side. This means that we cannot use three random lengths to form a triangle. Two, the sum of two of them must be greater than the third one. Here it says, which of these groups of segment lengths will form a triangle? So we have one, two, four, we have five, seven, 13, and we have 24, 36, 42. It needs to have a sum on the left side that is greater than the third number. And we do one plus two is greater than four. Well, that's not true, that's false. So since all three need to be true, we already know that that will not form a triangle. We have one that is false, it's already out. Now let's look at this one. We have a five, seven, and 13. We do five plus seven is greater than 13. Well, that's not true. That's false. Five plus seven is 12. That's not greater than 13. That means without going any further, we know this one's out because all three need to be true. Now let's look at this one. We have 24 plus 36. That's 60. The four and the six make a 10, and two tens and three tens is five tens. So that's 60. 60 is greater than 42. We try adding the 24 and the 42, and we get 66 is greater than 36. Yeah, that's true. And we do the 36 with the 42, and we get 78 is greater than 24. They're all true. So the only group of segments that would make a triangle is this one. This is the only one because all three of the inequalities are true. A conjecture is a statement believed to be true. Do two segments of lengths, six centimeters and seven centimeters, and a longer segment of length C, some unknown length C, form one triangle, more than one triangle, or none? So we're going to make a conjecture. Well, there are only three segments. We've got a six centimeter, a seven centimeter, and then some longer length. That's three segments. So there would only be one triangle formed if the sum of the segments A and B were greater than the longer segment C. So if A plus B is greater than C, yes, there would be one triangle. We'd have one. Okay, there would be no triangle formed if A plus B was less than C. So we finished with the first part of 8.2. We're going to move on to 8.2b, two angles and their included side. So remember when you're doing this, you need to try every combination of adding two sides to see if it's greater than the third side. And if all three combinations are true, then it will form a triangle. If just one of them are false, then it will not form a triangle. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you join me for the second part of the lesson. Bye.